Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Today in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can configure the color palette in the WinCC Scada. So, to see if, uh, whatever is our right now existing color palette is already configured, the by default. So here come in my project uh, property, uh, the uh, project name, and right click and click at property and then come in the user interface and here you can see the WinCC standard color palette so here we have the WinCC standard color uh, palette already selected and here we have multiple color palettes is there like uh, we have you see the color uh, palette is the collection of the color that we can use in our uh, application so as you can see here we have multiple uh, color scheme is there so in this tutorial video like we will create a new uh, color palettes and uh, we'll see like how interactive color palettes we can use in our project so to create a new color uh, palette first uh, we have to see what is the other color pattern is going on so i will open the one website so i will use this website to generate the new color schema click it here so some blue shade i'm looking suppose i want to use this color theme in my project like I want like that to see my trend trend and graph and I want my button look like this thing so I will just export it I will just copy this code that's it and I will minimize it And open the notepad okay. so now I will create a new color uh, palette I will click here add a color range and then I will rename range as I will put my color range 1 and after that now I want to use the same color scheme here in my palette so I will select the HTML color code and I will paste it here and click here to palette and then click here and I will put the name 50 similar manner the other one put 100 200 300 
and 400. and 600 and 700 And eight hundred and nine hundred and then nine fifty. Okay, select OK and press OK. So now we'll see how we can use this palette in our project. Come here in the graphic designer, open the graphic screen. So now um, the first step, like I will change the background of my entire screen. To, so to do that, come here in fact, uh, effect and disable the global color scheme and then uh, come here in color and background color select. Double click here and then the palette select and from here you can select the my color range one and then select 900. So as you can see, the this color range, we don't have such a beautiful color. We don't have in here in the this color scheme. We have some different color shades, suppose. I will select it, okay. It's, it's not la like more attractive color. So I will select this 900. Okay, now, I want some attractive uh, buttons. So mm. this button I already created, it look nice over this dark background. But if I want to change like my color, the button color. So I will come here first. In effect, I have to disable the global color scheme. And after that, I will come here in the color area and the background color and I select the my color range. Suppose I will just select so as you can see like if I want to try some different color was 500 so as you can see it's look more attractive and I just want to increase the font size like 20 and the font color also I want to change come here color font color I want to put white color or some different color like light gray so as you can see or I want to try some dark shade color. So you can see the look is entirely different. And suppose as in example I show you here two different if you want to uh, want like that color like if you can uh, see in this example use the 50 and uh, 500 and 600 color so we can also use the same for that you have to create a rectangular and after that you have to come here global scheme you have to disable it and then color 
then background color select my color range 500 and then the fill pattern about 600 and then come here in style and fill pattern and I will select this one so as you can see it's look like same button as is showing here I will just put it like this that is it's look like same button like if I want to put it some white text so I will just copy and paste and I will reduce like 20 and I will put it just command and I will change the color font color you can change it from here or you can change it change it directly from here additional select light gray so I'll just manually put in center this button and after that I will group it so now we can use this button as a command we can put some event and any and we can use this button uh, one more thing I will do it like we can also remove this border color also like ungroup it and come in style let's put it zero so now this look more nice group it so similar manners uh, like we can uh, some interactive uh, some other interactive area we can also create suppose I want to display uh, my some level value so I will how I can do I will just change the background color first disable color then background color then range and I will select some thing okay and then style I will put it zero for background and I will just copy and Level. and I can put it my eye of field here also I will increase the font size like 20 and just click OK I think I have to increase the font size like 28 so in the effect global color schema should be disabled and now I want I never want the color I will go in style fill pattern I will put transparent and I will remove the border line zero so now we'll fill the color and font color palette 
and I want some light color. Uh, I will put it some hundred, one hundred, and I will fold it a little bit and change the color. So you can see it's look more nice. So like that, the pipe color we can also change. Like I'll disable blah 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 scan and so uh, you can see it's more attractive color as previous then. So like that, the color uh, palette, we can use it and uh, to develop more attractive graphical display pages. Thanks for watching this video.